bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Welcome back to Our Lady of Solids, and it is 3 a.m. Another hospital has pulled up another uh, injury customer. Uh, a hospital truck has pulled up with an injury customer here, and uh, we have a problem. I know in the last episode I talked about wanting to, uh, first of all, I need to make this nicer. Good Lord, I didn't even, I forgot. I totally forgot to make this room nice. Anyway, we'll deal with that later. Uh, but we talked about maybe getting, uh, moving uh, x-ray stuff and cardiology, I'm going to pause this for a second, up to this beautiful large second floor. But... Check out this problem we have right now. This person needs to go to trauma. However, in trauma, we have these three people who are just lying there in their suits. We have Nancy Adams with a liver laceration. She needs surgery. And a big shout out to the commenter. I have got to write notes down. I forget who said it. Uh, but they pointed out that on when you hover over a diagnosis that is final, uh, that bottom line there, it says 2,640 doubloons, but below that it says abdominal surgery. That is the cure for this liver laceration. That's how we fix her. So that's what I need to know, which means she needs to go to general surgery. Well, guess what? This person, we don't know yet, but it's probably going to be something to do with general surgery. Each one of these needs general surgery. This one here, this person... General surgery as well. Same thing, a liver laceration. Now, we could get some nice payouts from these people. But my general surgery department is just way too small. I've got four beds, that's it, and two in the high dependency ward. So I am thinking that it, it is absolutely more important right now for our clearance rate, for getting more people through the door. It is more important that we have uh, a larger general surgery wing. And I'm thinking that this first floor is just not gonna cut it. I want more doctors in around this area. I want cardio stuff as well, which is gonna maybe need its own floor. I don't know. I well, Maybe we need to expand this here. I don't know. That's like, maybe this isn't enough beds here, although it doesn't seem to be. It's getting close. It's getting close to maxed out in my trauma area. So there's a lot going on, folks. And I think it's about time that we actually move the general surgery ward up to the second floor. That could also mean that this little area here is freed up for uh, pathology, which you'd think would be on the first floor, not like on the top floor of your hospital. Now, nobody has died yet, so I don't need pathology. Now I'm faced with a couple of things I can do. I can send this hospital injury customer away, which, and they might have the same kind of thing that all these people have. These people are already here. They're already waiting for a spot. So let's go ahead and just send uh, this patient away because I don't think that that causes any major problems aside from like, we don't get that money, but I don't think I'm gonna cause, I'm, I'm not gonna lose any points on my hospital. Now let's just get into the daytime here. Oh no, not another one. Oh boy. I don't see where it is. So I thought that was gonna be Oh, okay. See what I'm talking about? It's constant now. We have three ambulances, and that's what I wanted, but it's constantly bringing us people that we have to deal with. Constantly bringing us new injury customers that I don't have room for. So this is two twofold, uh, a twofold problem. Fold number one is that we have not enough beds in trauma, but fold the main one, I think, is that we have no beds for general surgery. That seems to be the main problem. Uh, I don't know what that is about. I don't see another ambulance here. I know my ambulance is left, and now they're here again. Like, this is what I'm talking about. It is constant. Eh, okay, send that injury customer away. So, I do not want to send any more ambulances away. I want beds for all these patients, and then I want them to get the surgery they desire. Uh, to do that, I think we need surgery running into the night, first of all, and I need to move all this upstairs. So, let's, oh my goodness. <laughs> it is constant. What I could do is, oh, oh that, okay, I don't know why they've got their sirens going, because they're just going back. All right, all of our doctors are, are streaming in for another day at Our Lady of Solids, but it is not enough. I've got a door into this new space here. I've walled it off and I put some, uh, some you know, floor, some ceiling tiles up. 
just to kind of give it a nice sort of shape, except for this spot here where I want to expand it forward and build a cafeteria. So first things first, we need to pause. We need to plan out what this, this thing is going to look like. All right, so uh, let's go into general surgery and uh, let's start out with the thing I always start out with, some corridors. <laughs> so I wanna have like a center corridor down the middle and what are the main things we need? We need like a uh, waiting space um, and uh, that should be right here. So let's put a waiting room right here to the tune of like maybe four. Yeah, okay, so this is good. This is leaving us like chunks of six here where we can build lots of like those similar sized rooms that we need. And since this is gonna be a whole department, I think we're gonna fill this whole area in. Since this is gonna be a whole department, let's get like a reception. That could be fun. Uh, I kinda want this to be symmetrical-ish. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, that's gonna come out a little bit. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, so we're just gonna keep working. We're gonna go ahead. The next thing we need, of course, is general surgery offices. So I'm gonna go six here. These are six by sixes, which I think is the size of these ones. Yeah, six by six and six by six. So I can copy these or even just move the pieces up, make a, and make a, uh, 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 blueprint and copy them up. And then if I want, I think I want two more of those. So we'll go six by six here. And this is, again, this is me preaching about my hallways. This is why I believe in hallways. Always have hallways because it, it just helps you plan better. Look at this already, I'm flying. Also, I like really hide, uh, hide, hide wallways. Wide hallways. It's a weird one again. Uh, so I could expand the ICU here and get maybe one more bed in there. It's only two spots. These need like three to get one more ICU bed. And actually that ICU is pretty big, but oh, 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 wait. Washrooms, one, two, three, one, two, three by five. Okay. Okay, great, yeah, okay, we can get two washrooms, two little washrooms in there. And then let's, um, you know what I wanna do is I wanna have, I wanna have two surgery theaters um, here. So if I, if I do them like, Okay, let's see, how big do they need to be? This one here, if we copy it over, is 12 by six. Okay, so 12 by six. 12, okay, six. Six by 12, six by 12. Okay, so we could do, we could do one. That's leaving a lot of space in the middle because if I want to get down there, I'm going to need another corridor at least by four. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh, and those are not surgery theaters. Oops, op operating room, please. Six by 12. So if we do that, then we can just copy up the asset. We can just like copy over exactly what was up there uh, on the floor below. But I don't like all, I don't like this area. We don't, first of all, that's not supposed to be, <laughs> that's not one. Okay, uh, maybe we could do another one. Let's do the corridor here by four, and then let's do a, ah, oh, crap. I don't, I want the corridor to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do another operating room, like right up against it. Uh, if we do this, that's gonna leave two little rooms here. How about some more washrooms? Here's the thing, they're always using washrooms. They always get up to use washrooms and they go all, to all manner of, places so this is three by 12 so we could do six and six and then that leaves yes yes a closet right here boom and then that leaves us with this whole big square here and we can get a ward in uh now i kind of want to do my combo nurses station thing again how big was that one this one was seven by five and let's just take a look oops that's not the button i want to press P press space bar to get back to the play mode that's pretty compressed. Let's make it slightly bigger. So that's seven by five. Let's go like, like one up, eight by six. Okay, and I could probably still move all that stuff up and and then, you know, expand out a bit. Oops, hello, nurse's station there, thank you. So seven, uh, eight, eight by six. 
eight by six. Okay, let's do... Let's do that. I have to think. My brain just shut off for a second. And and that's tough because I'm, like, trying to talk and trying to, like, hang out with you guys. But uh, if my brain just stops working, what am I supposed to do? Now, does that... Let's just think about this. Does that leave... That's a pretty large space, but it's also kind of awkwardly spaced. Could we... Would this work? Could we get a very large... Because we could have a bunch of beds up and along here. How, mu how much space do a, does a bed use? It looks like it's like... Probably like four by two. So it's like... Four by two... Three... That's two, sorry. Three... Uh, four, maybe... Five... Six, seven, maybe. And then this in inner circle. I, I We gotta figure out a way to make an inner circle. Maybe we have another half wall. I don't think half walls exist, but like some sort of a, a walled structure here uh or maybe this is just a separate room and this is a separate room maybe that's just how it has to be but at any rate i know that they're both connected to this corridor and even though this it looks like two different rooms as long as i don't put a wall here i could put a door right here and it would just look like it goes into the same space okay let's take a look so that's like the basic structure, but we still need sonography, cardiography. Okay, we need a lot of stuff here. And again, this is only, uh, which one did I put in there? High HDU, high dependency, which is good. But I need some more like wards. Let's go down here with this corridor and see what this does here for. We don't need that much. Okay, so this corridor here is useless. So what if we put a ward here? A ward and a uh, a ward here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why can't I see it? Regular ward. That's why. So let's put it back here. We don't need that hallway. Let's go like thirteen. Now here's the thing. Have I lined this up with? I was doing some work on this, and I know I need the elevator to be about here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 That works. Okay. So I need the elevator to be about here. So I need I need some I need to plan some space here for the elevator. Now, when I was doing this, I did put in the elevator planner, and if you do that down here, then it'll be on the second floor. It'll it'll just kind of make that elevator planner thing go through all the floors, which would erase this waiting room. So I'm not ready to turn this into an elevator yet. Uh, so let's um let's see here. Let's uh put a waiting room here. That's like four, six by six. I think that's kind of going to line up. This is where we want the elevator to be. So that's going to kind of line up. And then eventually once I build an elevator, which is right here on the second floor, then it kind of comes in about there. And then there's a little hallway of space in between. I don't know if I can get two elevators in there, but I also don't know if I need, you know, two elevators there. I've, I've got a bank of four here. But it's just going to help with flow. So, like, let's say you go to a doctor's appointment here, and you're like, oh, I got to go up here. Eventually, all this stuff is going to be on a different floor because this is all going to be doctor's offices. So it's like, oh, I got to go get my poo, my poo looked at. So you're going to go hit this elevator here once you've been dealt with by a doctor. So you don't have to worry about this. This can be for, you know, high-dependency patients coming this way. Okay, good. Whew. All right. So uh, let's think here. We've got kind of an empty space here here and we're gonna need to bring a, a corridor back here so what if we put in another uh oh you know what we don't have the doctors the on-call room here so that needs to be uh six by six at least so it's the same size as one of these uh but i kind of want it to be so that's six by six here I kind of want it to be a bit bigger. I'm going to see if I can steal this because then that makes this one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could have fours. What room is small enough to be a four? One of these two, I think. These rooms here have, let's do the, let's do the microphone ones or the heart ones. Either way, either of those, the heart ones maybe are pretty good too. Okay, so whatever the heart ones are called, we're gonna put some heart stuff here. Cardiography unit for 
the specific use of the, okay, so that's eight, two, three, four. These are tiny. I think that's all, because they just need, they just need like, where is a good example of one? Here, it looks like they've got just a desk and a bed and like some other little like pieces of equipment. So an, a, a, a four is gonna be fine. So that means that brings this corridor, I could either bring the corridor down here. We could put some big rooms here. Oh, that's too big. What if we bring the corridor down like so? And then, okay, across here. So that goes to like there. Now I kind of want to keep some of the space free. I don't want to encroach too much into this area because I want to like feed people in that area. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, look at this area here is good. We could do another ward here or something. Or maybe, th maybe this whole uh, base should be a ward. Instead of this corridor here, we could just put a regular ward in here, like so. Uh, oh, that's not, that's not good. Let's expand this corridor back to four, I think. Four. Ooh, I really wish that lined up better. Uh, I mean, and it can, it can. All I do is make this bigger, I guess. How big is this ward? Is this gonna be a big enough ward? So that's 18 across so we can make this guy i guess we'll just expand this waiting room and we're not going to do anything with this space just yet until we can get an elevator in there and does that leave enough room for the last bits that i need so i've got a big high dependency ward a small regular ward and a big regular ward and these nurses are kind of in this area i need some more nurses let's do a nurses station just like across all this nine by six and that leaves us some space in here for something. What am I missing? Cleaning closet. I think we have one. Let's get another one. Let's just do another one. Look at this perfect space. Ugh. Six by six something. Uh, well, we could do the cardiog the sonography. Um, oh, or that's kind of nice. So you walk down this hallway, you're, do you're getting dealt with all this stuff, but boom, right in the middle, you can go meet up in this lounge. We're going to make this lounge real cozy looking. That's the plan. Okay, and then uh, let's get some diagnostics units in. Uh, how many can we get in here? 25. So that's f four fives? Five fives. <laughs> Come on, do, do at least basic math. Six by five. Okay, let's do that. Let's get like a... I want a bunch of these. I want to be able to move through people quickly. Let's get like three of these. And then what am I missing? Heart, heart, diagnose, diagnostic. Oh yes, the microphone boys. So we just need two of these, I bet. Five by six, five by six. Okay, there we go. My goodness, that that does take up a lot of room. Now, oh, I've made this a, I thought I wanted to make this nurses. Why, have, why is it a diagnostic? I think I pressed the wrong uh, button here. <laughs> Oops. There we go. So this is gonna be like a nurses station where they can kind of look out of the hallways, but it's not necessarily like this one that'll be, you know, quote unquote, part of the room. I think, I think this is perfect, folks. <laughs> folks. <laughs> Hospital folks, this is perfect. Now I'm gonna go with the same blue look. So we're gonna go with these lines. Let's go with this look. This is like a modern hospital now, okay? We're going, you know, we're it's gonna have these walls, like blue, instead of a center stripe, it's gonna have this. That's what I'm talking about, folks. I'm calling you guys folks now. We're all folks together now. Do you think folks is a very um, politician's word? Like, if I were to say folks in a video, is that kind of like... Oh, come on. Is that like disingenuous of me saying the word folks all the time? Okay, I don't know why it's not doing all these. Oh, wait, how many... Okay, I've got a lot of money, by the way, because recently... Uh, and, and again, I mean... Not like personally, but I mean for this game. Uh, but recently I was uh, awarded a couple of really great uh, prizes, uh, grants, I think, for what happened. I forget what it was, uh, but I got like a certain number. I think I had like 30 patients uh, healed in one day. So that a bunch of these had a bunch of knock-on effects. Like, look at this. Cheapo care. I think I'm done. Cheapo care is done. So I now have the most... <laughs> thank you. I now have the most payment... The biggest payout from them uh, that I can get. 
So that's all good, but I kind of want to move on from cheapo care for obvious reasons, uh, because it says, because it's called cheapo care. Okay, what's going on here? I've selected the room build. Actually, I should probably just be using that uh, button. Okay. The general layout is coming together. We're going to have to design these walls now and put some windows in and all that good stuff. I think the most important thing to do is to start moving some stuff up. And then uh, from there, I want to like maybe make some make my life easier with some uh, blueprints. There we go. So this is the new expanded ultra high capacity or medium capacity probably, I guess. We'll find out if this is a decent capacity or not. Uh, general surgery wing. This is going to save so many lives. I don't think these areas need walls. So I think, without a doubt, the next step is to move stuff up uh, from the first floor. So I'm going to race through that, and then we're going to get on to designing these wards here. So I'm going to get the nurse's station, I'm going to get all these little offices done, and then it's ward design time. Let's get after it. Well, okay. A little bit of moving, checking in on some uh, of the game's prefabs a few times, but look what we have. All of the offices ready to go. We've got three of the diagnostics, uh, two son sonographies, two tiny little heart ones. Now these ones were, oops, I keep pressing that button. These ones were the tough ones uh, to make because uh, and I was actually a lot tighter than I thought to squeeze this into like four by uh, six. Five by six is definitely going to be like the minimum, I think. I placed this prefab here and this prefab from the game. And you know what? This is great. This does look really good. So I kind of want to copy something like this. Like maybe they can each have their own little uh, space or something. These are very spaced out. I bet you could get like two more beds in here. But again, this kind of shows that you don't need too much in regular wards. And it kind of makes me think that maybe we should redo this a little bit more of like a hallway or something. Like uh, maybe it could be, what if, hear me out. What if we come down, uh, let's sell that, and uh, we could actually uh, come down just a little more central and have like a little bit of a corridor space down here and then all these little like rooms maybe? We can have a bunch of little private rooms. The main thing I'm thinking is this is just very large. There's a lot of bed space in here, uh, which could be good. Now, this size alone is enough to fit another four beds. Uh, and we only have 36,000 doubloons left. So what I need to do is start like moving some of these up uh, that aren't currently being used. <laughs> so this is a regular ward here and these ones are not being used. And I think I wanna make this ward just a little bit more 
uh, busy than this little one here. Uh, and maybe, like we said, maybe it's two different hallways, two different rooms or something like that. Or maybe it's a, a narrow hallway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do a narrow hallway with little rooms. What does the prefab give us for that? Let's create. Let's create a little room here. So if this wall goes down here, so that's 18. So what if we put, what if we created a little, a bunch of four rooms? Let's see, one, two, three, okay, one, two, four. So one here, one here, one here, and then you've got another four and then two. Okay, so this is like a very large room if we were to do that. But this could be interesting. Let's take a look at what the prefab says for the single, I think there's regular ward, a single regular ward. This little guy here, four by six. So that would fit perfectly. We could just make a bunch of these. And then they have their own little rooms. Oh man, could we get, ever get a bunch of these in here? So what if we do this? Let's do this and see how we feel about creating this kind of a, it's very narrow though, isn't it? In the middle there, that's very narrow. That's almost way too narrow, to be honest. Can I control Z? No, undo is only possible for one of those. And now we have 23,000 doubloons left. <laughs> so is redo possible? Can I build that regular ward again? Uh, I don't know. That seems a little tight. That seems a little bit tight. And also, it seems like if I delete, can I uh, bulldoze walls and objects? Let's see if I get the money back. Okay, I get the money back. Okay, good. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get all the money back for these ones. Uh, and I'm going to make my own prefab that's just a little wider. Oh, I see. There's a little tile for the... That's clever. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to move uh, this over here. Just relax for now. And I like this prefab. I do. But... I want to do my own little thing here. So I'm going to do, and you know me, it's it's just what I do. I do my own little thing. But I do like the dark walls. I like the, you know, the kind of, the nice look they're going for here. So let's remove all this stuff. Let's remove all this stuff. And let's, I think it's got to be two, a double door because it's got to get, you know, you got to get quite a lot in there. You got to get the whole stretcher able to get in there. So this is a very tight space. So maybe that doesn't actually quite fit. Oh, that fits there though. Okay, perfect. We'll do this again. Now we've created our own modification of that space. There we go. So now how does that look? Oops, I keep pressing that button again and that's gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so now we've got this. What we could also do further to that is what if we uh, took out the wall here? What does this look like if we take out the wall? We put this, oh, we're gonna have to move that object to here. We don't need the flowers. We put this here like this. Then we bring that wall up again, like so. A little bit of separation. And then uh, we, another thing we could do is uh, privacy screen right here and here. What if this is our new, okay. What if this is our new private ward situation? Uh, you know, I don't think it's needed. I think if we did, uh, but here's what I'm gonna do. Instead of having those old, these old stuffy doors, I don't, I don't hate this design. We're gonna go with a slightly modified prefab here for at least this space. So let's go for, whoops, those doors though. So it just looks a little more modern, a little more accessible. I like that a bit better. And then on the outside here, we gotta go back to, I wanna go back to, back to reality. Yeah, there we go. So this is our new prefab. We're gonna copy this one over. Copy and create prefab. And we're gonna make this our new, this is looking good. There we go, this is this is feeling good. Now it's not so uh, claustrophobic, although the rooms are small, but again, that's okay. 
Then we come in here and we take this uh, tile. And we go back to hallway, hallway shape tile. All right, this is feeling real good now. So now this area here can actually have um, a slightly different vibe to it. And when I say vibe, I mean like, okay, these ones are a little more, like just like a row of beds. So this is like overflow. Those ones are private rooms. Like maybe you've got good healthcare. I wish we could like specify who gets these rooms. Although that's like probably, uh, you know, not very nice. What I just said. <laughs> I want these only for upper class people. I want to pick who gets the nice room. No, everybody should get whatever room is available. But to begin with, if you just get to the hospital, you get kind of a nicer one. That's that's what we're going with. Now, let's move some of these from the regular ward because I'm I don't I gotta conserve you know cash money over here. So I'm gonna move. Actually, I think we can move objects. There's a whole move object tool here. So let's try that. Move room or selected area. <laughs> eh. There we go. All right, now this to me is what we want. This feels better. Okay, but we don't need that on that side. We're gonna move this on this side like this. Uh, then we're gonna, okay, well now we can move everything over. Okay, so as you can see, this is a little uh, more cramped. There's just a chair. It, this is not like, we're not having a great time if you're up here like this. We have 14,000 doubloons left. We still need to build this massive thing, then hire people, of course, and then get it going. Now, we'll be able to sell all of this, so that's going to give us some money back once we start moving all the staff up. Uh, so first of all, I want to make sure that I can at least uh, get this uh, done here, this room. So unfortunately, ah, I keep pressing that button. I think it's because I keep pressing that button because of... Um, uh, space Haven. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to go into my prefabs. And let's move another room. Oh, I guess I can't. I guess we're stuck. That's the thing. We can't move these beds. So it's just going to cost me uh, money to do that. All right, here we go. I'll move this up here. And did I sell that bed then? Yeah, I guess I accidentally sold that, sold that bed because, uh, well, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Bit of an idiot. I think you know that if you're watching this channel. This guy that you're watching, bit of an idiot. Now, we can fill this in with props too, I think, and make this look even better. That's gonna be the real uh, ticket, is to kind of make this look more like an overflow and have a bit more life to it. So let's get a modern hospital bed in there. Now, what I could also do is not go so expensive with these beds because we need to get a whole high dependency unit built uh, pretty quick here. So for instance, what if I, hear me out, I copy this over uh, like so. Copy, create prefab. So we can at least have those beds. Now, how much is this gonna cost me? Let's find out how much this high dependency unit materials is gonna cost me. That was 10,000 doubloons. That's not a good sign. That is That does not bode well for the rest of this build. I'm going to have to run the simulation a bit and make some cash. Or I guess I could take out a loan. Uh, and, I, and it makes sense. I have spent a lot of money and I have gotten a lot of the rest of this done. I just need to get down the finish line here. Um, and maybe I can sell this off. I don't need all this high dependency. Like, we don't need walls everywhere. It's nice, but I don't know if I've seen that many, that much privacy in hospitals before. So there's the external wall, which we need to fix up. There we go. Okay, now, what is this, what is this one missing? Why is it all lit up? It thinks it's missing something. There's no defibrillator in this room. That's what it's missing. Okay, so uh, let's go. Okay, we got 400 doubloons left. So let's go take uh, ourselves a bank loan for 20, 40,000 doubloons. Daily interest, $400. I think we can afford that loan. Okay, this is that was not bad. Um, this is okay. I don't like the color. Let's go with a blue. Now, since this is high dependency, I'm okay with them kind of seeing, uh, you know, like with it kind of being wide open like this. I think that's okay. 
Let's get this flooring fixed. Oh my goodness, I picked the wrong one. I'm gonna, uh, the idiot strikes again. <laughs> okay, I really wanna get these uh, up and running. I really wanna hire some folks and get going. Now we could put another, uh, let's copy this over. Uh, just, I wanna kinda just copy the items. Is that possible? Let's go on our prefabs here. Save prefab. Uh, move a room or selected area. Copy or create a prefab. I guess you need the wall is the thing. So what if I do something like this? And then we're going to we're going to redo the wall, don't worry. Then we move then we do something like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. It's starting to work. This is looking good. Um let's bring up the wall tool here and remove this wall up to like here. Let's see what that looks like. So now there's some there's some division there and some curtain division here. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look how many beds we have. We're down to 9,000 doubloons though. So we're gonna have to do some more creative uh, decorating or start to move everybody. I think once we do that, now we could do glass here. You know, that's not ideal, but I'm just trying to think like, you know, would they not want, I guess we've got something on the wall there, okay. Would they not want to be able to see? Like, you know, the nurses and stuff are going to want to be able to see down there. Okay, this is feeling good. Now, I've seen, uh, and maybe we should do it as well. Let's get this wall uh, tool out here so this doesn't look like just a piece of wall. There we go. Now, that's interesting. We could get some more stuff on there. We could put some props on here. We could put some more stuff, maybe even another. We could get another bed here, to be honest. So let's rig up another bed, and then it is time... Uh, just to start, just to start saving some lives. Okay, enough of this design work. Okay, it's time to it's time to run this thing and see if it actually works. Now that's a little too close for comfort. Unfortunately, I don't think I can get. I mean, will that work? Let's see. That might not be accessible. It says it's blocked. Uh, so we need to think about how we design uh, this space or move these two bit. Like maybe we do two here. Or maybe we expand the nurses area because right now this could only fit three nurses and we've got a lot of beds here. Uh, 7,300 doubloons left. We have a little bit of a space built here. We've got most of this area up and running now. Why don't we move our staff? Let's go into management and let's start moving our staff. Wait, excuse me. Oh yeah, right, wrong floor. Ha. Of course, of course. So now what we do here is these are our customers, our injury customers. If I go into the tools, why can't I, am I not in the right uh, uh, space? General surgery, missing equipment. Something has happened in here that uh, has kicked, oh, I know what I've done wrong. There we go. So hopefully the nurses can now return. Okay, there, we've got our nurses back. That was weird, but you know, it is what it is. So now we can move all these people upstairs. Assign uh, employee to this workspace. Assign uh, this employee to the night workspace. No, no, oh wait, <laughs> I gotta click on the button again. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, and you are going to be assigned uh, up here, thank you. And uh, you are going to be assigned up here, thank you. Now, can I move these folks? Send an untreated patient to another hospital. Select a department. No, okay. So what I can do is I can remove this room, though, and maybe eventually these patients will move up there. If I remove these rooms, I wonder what happens to those patients. Let's find out. But first, let's move our doctors up to their on-call room, which is massive now. Look at this thing. So we're going to move you up. Uh, there's got to be a faster way to do this. There must be a faster way to quickly move everybody. Let's move this doctor. Okay, you don't have to keep going back to them when I move. Okay, anyway, we gotta do it one at a time. Okay, so we got the doctors moving up. Oh my goodness, this is gonna take a while. All right, so we've done that, and now I'm gonna delete these rooms here, and this waiting room, and this reception area, and I believe we don't have any more doctors in here, so I'm gonna delete these rooms as well. 
and take a look at the second floor and make sure everything is, seems to be working. Now let's go ahead and hire some more staff. We need to hire everybody, janitors, everything. And I'm thinking that we go pretty deep into running things at night as well. So let's get this nurses thing like fully uh, decked out. Now for nurses, I know that we need surgery nurses at night, uh, but we also need them at the in the day. So this is a good one here. All right, I like a decent one. You know what? She'll get better. Rachel Anderson is going to learn. I think we should fire up some night surgery because then we're going to be able to, uh, you know, go all night long. We're going to be able to save people all night long. Patient care. These are some bad people. I think we should we just spend some of these doubloons on uh, another role here. Uh, find new candidates. 2,500 doubloons. There we go. This is a bit better. Oh, now this receptionist would be good for this. Oopsies. Am I on the second floor? Yeah. Receptionist would be good for this spot here. Receptionist 38. Five. Let's go with this one. So Rachel. Lots of Rachels I've been hiring. That's okay. I don't have any problem with Rachels. Let's put this one in medical surgery at night. So now we have one medical surgery nurse. Let's get this one at night. Let's get uh, uh, let's get a guy in there. Why not? I'll, I'll tell you why not, because he's not that great. <laughs> That's okay. We have a lot of staff, so they can train up together. Patient care, receptionist. I don't really want more receptionists. I don't I don't think I really need receptionists. Uh, we'll see how well the... Like, if the receptionist helps speed people up, that'll be good. 17, 19... Okay, 39. Okay, Margaret. That's the one you want. You want Margaret. You want old Marge. Efficiency, dexterity... You know what? I wasn't even looking at their secret things because that cost me a thousand doubloons to do that rest levels decrease slower very nice um you know what i'm real speaking of rest levels there is no lounge on this floor oh boy okay uh you know what honestly we just need to like almost auto hire some of these people here <laughs> this needs to be done this needs to just be done if i'm being honest with you uh, we need to create a space for these people to rest. That person could be a manager of the of the whole department, maybe. We've got a chief doctor, but do we have a chief cleaner upper? Okay, that's enough people in there. Let's get a few. Let's get like one or two uh, folks in this one as well, just to spread people out a bit, and a night uh, janitor as well. Fresh parent rest levels decrease faster. Uh, is it illegal? I think it's illegal to to know that. I don't think I was allowed to know that. <laughs> Now, here's my dream, going all night. So we need all this staffed up all night. So I need another uh, USG type person, 9%, 18, 14, let's go 18%. Let's get a night person, maybe just one though. And then maybe one, we need at least, we need at least uh, one more heart person, a cardiologist, 42, 37, good Lord. So let's get a night one in there as well at 42. Let's get some, some more docs. Let's get another. Now, this is going... I'm getting a little out of control here. I'm getting a lot of... A lot of people. So, let's go general surgery. And let's get one more. Let's get a night person. Night shift special needs a night shift at emergency. Okay, okay. So, we have to get a night shift at emergency before we can go all night with doctors here. All right, that's good to know. What is our doctor situation? We have two doctors. No surgeons at night. Two surgical nurses required. Day two, okay. Uh, we have no surgeons at night. We have one anesthetologist, four nurses. So let's just get a night surgeon. Operative surgery, 38%. Karen, how? You are our night surgeon. Now we need, uh, maybe let's, let's get one more. We are spending cash today. This could be bad for us. Operative surgery. Okay, let's get Thomas White. So now we're covered. We have four doctors at night, three of three during the day. So let's full. Let's get full up for doctors. And uh, one, uh, two anesthetologists, one anesthetologist. So we're fully covered. But let's make sure we just have a good doctor who can maybe do some surgery, perhaps, or some good diagnoses would be good. This person, man, Joseph Wilson is expensive, but like. That's some good coverage right there. 
All right. There we have it. A massive new hospital wing has opened. Now this should result in folks showing up and clearing out, just as I predicted, clearing out the trauma ward. Now let's do an experiment here. Where is she going? Let's see what happens if we uh, uninstall these rooms down here. So no, 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 and no. Those can still be bathrooms. <laughs> and let's keep the operating theater uh, alive because who knows, maybe that's helpful. All right, let's speed up time a little bit. All these folks are going home. So that's good. A patient's room got deleted uh, or sent away. Good. Okay, that's good to know. I did do that on purpose. Yep. Yep. Patient's room got deleted. Okay, good. Now, we've got 6,200 digaloons with which to uh, maybe put in some windows in this sad, sad uh, building. Right now, I'm not kind of looking for... Oh, I can't really place any windows there. Very depressing. These folks need windows. How am I not allowed to put a window behind a plant? Well, that's quite silly. Let's move this plant over. And I'm going to try placing one of those nice tall windows. So there's something in the way. And I guess I guess we're just not allowed to place any windows where there is a floor tile. Is that right? It certainly doesn't seem like it should be right. Okay, I gotta experiment. I gotta experiment and figure out what I've done wrong here. Let's uh, delete these. And then can I please put a window in? Okay, weird. Oh, I see, it's because, it's because they're in the way, because they're facing that, but then I can place them back. Okay, well, that's uh, a bit stupid, but it is what it is. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna delete these three pieces. So we can put in some nice windows. Because here's the thing, if they get the nice beds, then they should at least have some, you know, some real nice windows. Now that's, this is a questionable section, no windows for them. That's all right. So now if I go back here to outside things, I can put this roof slot back in. And good, okay. We'll, we'll work on that later. That's a little something we can work on later. I think for now, we need to see if this uh, is going to make us any money if this is going to solve all the problems I was having. And believe me, I was having problems. Let's match up this wall here. All right. Let's speed up our thing. Yeah, some people's rooms got deleted. That's okay. We were aware that's going to happen. Uh, uh oh. Hang on. Hang on. This room is not ready. I see. Okay, this room isn't ready. The high dependency ward is not ready because we don't have a defibrillator uh, anywhere to speak of. We need some defibs. There, how's that? Whoa. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we have active rooms and we have patients showing up. Okay, so that was a bit stupid of me. Let's speed up time here. Now, I think the next step, of course, to beautifying this area is going to be uh, putting some props down, putting some posters down, getting this area a bit more cluttered, because right now it feels a little too spacious. Um, but I kind of like this T-wall section. I think I could probably use this kind of strategy. Maybe pull this wall forward, and I could probably get two, maybe three more beds in here. I think, I, I think two is probably the best I can do. And it might even be tough to get two. And as you can see, because of this empty space here. What I could do, however, is make my nurse's area larger out this way and narrower. Objective for insurance company has been completed. Perform 10 surgeries. I have to perform 10 surgeries. I don't know if I've done that today. How many surgeons do I have during the day? I only have one surgeon during the day. I have two at night. Okay. All right. Which one are you? Okay, who's like... Okay, let's move you. I'd like to move your workstation to the night. Can I not move you to the night? That's what... Oh, I see what's going on. I've, I've touched the wrong thing. So these are my doctors. Okay, that's a little annoying, but these are my doctors. So I have too many surgeons during the day. Or during the night, I mean. And only one surgeon during the day shift. 
Well, that's very stupid. So let's undo that somehow. I probably have to get rid of... Well, it looks like they've done lots of surgeries. So you're telling me I only have one surgeon, but I'm looking at a bunch of surgery doctors here. And an aesthetologist. Operative of surgery, zero, uh, a hundred. And anesthetology and anesthetology. So that's probably why. This is probably at zero. Okay, uh, let's keep that staff member. I wonder if if that means their skill is going to skill up. And eventually it'll be like I have two surgeons during the day. Because if I don't... If I only... If I have two surgery theaters, operating rooms, but I don't have the surgeons, then that's kind of a waste. So that means people have to wait till the night times to get their nighttime surgery. But this does make me think about something. What if it's time to go big or go home, folks? Let's go into emergency here and let's take a look at what we need to do. Staff night. It's covered at night because it needs to be. But here we have no doctors or receptionists. We have one receptionist at night. No technologists, but we don't need any. Let's get some night doctors. Let's keep our clinic open 24 seven. Acute medicine. Patients are now accepted 24 seven, folks. Uh, what about a anesthetology? A diagnosis. I want really good diagnosis skill. This, okay. Kate Gonzalez is not messing around. So now we can take patients all night long. You healed me all night long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you healed me throughout the entire night. Oh my goodness, that's a good, that's an expensive one. Let's go one level down with Frank Harris. I like him. I like Frank Harris. He looks shaggy. He kind of looks like an author uh, more than a surgeon. There we go. Oh, that's pretty fast. Okay. We now have enough room for one, two, three, one, two, three more high dependency people. And we're about to have another high dependency person. We've got a patient collapsing, but that's okay because this hospital goes all night long, baby. Save him. Save William Taylor, Kate Hernandez, and Jennifer Lee. You know what? I had a friend named Jennifer Lee. So, you know, good for her. <laughs> so we've taken our patient, our collapsing patient, over here. No, that wasn't Charles Wilson. We've taken... uh. Taken, is that the person? Mark Taylor. No, honestly, you know what? I've, I've I've lost the patient who was collapsing. It's gotta be this one. William Taylor. I think it was William Taylor. I'm. It's starting to make me think that this area, it, while it looks great, is almost a little overkill. Like, do we need this many uh, beds for our ICU? I thought ICU was gonna be like a major situation. <laughs> I say as another patient collapses. Oh no, pulmonary embolism. She needs anticoagulants. Which, can we not give her those? We can. Here. There, give her some anticoagulants. After you ICU her, of course. Because I want that 1,200 doubloons. All right, yeah, yeah, get her back, get her back. Here we go. Let's follow her uh, track here. Come on up to the ICU. Come on. How long do these elevators take? Oh, okay. Good lord. Come on, Daniel Taylor, you can do faster than that. And then they go to the next, to the second bed. Okay, good. Now, Karen Brown. Critical state. Should be getting help as soon as possible. Three hidden symptoms, but we're sure it's a pulmonary embolism. We're going to get the... Oh, defibrillation is needed right now? Come on. Oh, okay, uh, go to send that person away. Uh, okay, I'm not concerned about that. Right now, we're trying to watch to see if Karen Brown is getting uh, saved. Claire, do it again. Quick, do it again. Okay, maybe she's good. I'm gonna speed up time just a little bit. I think they stabilized her. 
She's all wrapped up. Oh no, she's got little tubes in her. I have not seen that before. I gotta rotate the camera more often. Okay, so she's got little tubes in her face. She is hopefully gonna be okay. A clinic patient is about to leave. Hasn't been seen for a very long time. Yeah, so I think the next step now is gonna be to uh, move things up so we can make more room for the doctors. Um, but I wanna sell off all these rooms and see if this gives us any money. So let's take a look. All these rooms here are no longer, you know, rooms under the general surgery department. So these, all this chunk here could go. So where is the tool that does that? Over here, prefabs. Build those walls and objects. Okay, good. There we go. Let's see, how much money are we making now? Now we're, now we're in the bucks. Now we're making the big bucks. Although we definitely need to, I should have kept some of those walls maybe. <laughs> because it'd be nice to know uh, what to do with that space or what I can do. So let's put some walls back up. <laughs> there we go, just to remember. So I've made myself another, uh, not very much. Okay, that's not ideal. Hopefully I can sell this stuff now. Oh, I can move it up. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm gonna bring these items up into the new space and see what we're dealing with there. All right, so this area is starting to look a little better, uh, but one thing I wanna do is create a little space here now. I think we have enough going on that we, we could give them a little bit of like, a little something to just relax or just to kind of like make the area look a little nicer. So I'm thinking like here, like a little coffee table here and uh, a lamp and then maybe like a magazine. Isn't there a magazine rack somewhere that I just like, I downloaded it. So, uh, the brochures could go there. There we go. I mean, that's a little something. And uh, maybe we'll put some windows there. But again, the windows are annoying and I have to go and build those separately. Now this area, we could get another bed in, but I was also thinking, why not have a little more comfort? A little more creature comforts. So let's actually put this this way. And that way we can have this kind of like a uh, little, whoops, move that over a bit and we can get another, yet another little coffee table in there in the corner. And that's kind of nice. And that's gonna look really cute. And then we could probably put uh, like a, t a small table lamp there. Just make that area look a little nice. Okay, it's not, you know, it's, uh, okay, let's sell that for a second here. Or put, can I put that somewhere please? I just need to put this down here. You can have that. Move that table over there. Let's go get that cactus and put it back here. Cute. Okay, I just feel like I want this area to be a little nicer since we now have all the room. Now, if I click, this is something I've started doing. Maybe this is a tip for other game players. But like, if I'm like, oh, it's gonna be hard to find all those items. Sometimes, honestly, I will just click on another room's setup. So that's how I found the water fountain a lot easier, was just clicking, okay, just, so let's say I was designing one of those rooms. Can you please give me the item that I need? Now, I think we need a defrib over here because yes, this ward technically has enough, but it doesn't look like there's enough here. That looks suspect without a lot of them. Now that's technically, I can place it there, but it's blocked. Okay, fine. Well, I can place it there and it's not blocked, so that's fine. Okay, so now this area is looking a, a little nicer. I think just maybe a prop or two lying about. An instruments table could be kind of nice right there. Definitely don't need it. Actually, that looks like, you know, because it needs to be more like scrubbed in, I think. What about a mobile equipment thing? That would probably be there. And uh, probably like like a whiteboard would be there. Again, these are not helpful. It's not gonna help anybody that they're there, except it does help. Actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. It helps me because I like it. Now, if I click on the nurse's station, that'll bring up some stretcher options. So I can get a stretcher like right here. Make it just look a little like, a little more cluttery. A mobile equipment cabinet right there. Maybe let's get that, let's turn that into a, uh, how do I get the, eh, no, no, it's stuck there now. Control, no. Okay, well, that's red. It's red and it's there permanently now forever. 
Ooh, I can put some stuff on it. Okay, let's put... Uh... Yeah, let's just put some glassware on there. Okay, that's looking good. Now, of course, we need some stuff on the walls, I think, would help. Oh, it looks like this wall is entirely undecorated. Uh, so we'll just go right here, stretch this across like that. There we go. That looks better. All right, so now our regular ward is coming close to looking finished. I could probably put some more. Let's get some windows in there, you know, those kinds of things. But other than that, I'd say it's in good shape, if I had to, if I had to say so myself. So I'm going to... Okay, we'll just do this here. And we're going to get these windows in here. Let's do windows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah, exactly. We're on the right We're on the right page here. Then we go back into the items. I understand that the stacking needs to be done in a certain way. It's probably for uh pathfinding so it doesn't wreck the game. There we go. See now this this hospital is starting to look I missed a window here, but this start, is starting to look real good if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself and I do. Let's get a, uh, why did I lose it? There it is. There we go. And place the those things back in. That's something I'm going to do offline because that would be insufferable to watch. But there we go. I can take this window out. That looks a little silly, so I will. Uh, but other than that, it's starting to look real nice up in Our Lady of Solids. This area needs a lot of love and care, but I also need a lot of doubloons and care for that, too. Although, oh, wow, I did make some money recently. Probably because of selling all that stuff. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's time to experiment with a couple more shapes. I don't know that I'll be able to get to it today, but I want to take a look at what the uh, future uh, build is going to be like. So if I take... Uh, go into here. Uh, flooring. Is this a specific... I don't know what that is. I haven't done this before. I'm going to build a foundation. Out like that. Okay. All right. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, good. Um, where am I putting this? Uh, I want to expand it past there. So I want it to be symmetrical. So we're going to build these foundations over here as well. One more, I think. And then we're going to keep going out and over this space here. Okay, that's costing me a lot of doubloons. All right, and I think I can bold up or use the dynamite to remove the foundations here. Okay, now how's that looking? Okay, I think I can go a little bit longer uh, without it looking a little, uh, like, too silly. I don't want to go crazy. I kind of wanted this to be a, a super modern chunk sticking out of the hospital over top of the entrance. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work really nicely. So let's take a look. Let's get some walls up on here. And jutting out of the brickwork, we have what's going to be our new cafeteria. Don't know that I'll get to it today, but I want to sort of rough it out. Okay. So it kind of looks like this. Now, what kind of glass should we get there? We want some sort of a... We could do this tall glass all along like this. I think that looks hyper-modern. We could also do like a medium glass. Or we could do one of these windows. That doesn't look quite right. Let's just see what it looks like if we just go all out with modern. 50, 50 uh, hospital doubloons every time I do this, though. So I gotta be... I gotta come correct to this design here. Okay, come on. Don't be foolish. Just let me... Oh, I'm over-clicking. That's what's happening. I gotta relax. All right. Then this area is... We're gonna floor it off with some uh, parquet. A little parquet for you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and uh, let's get... Uh, this has gotta be brick out here. And a uh, similar... There we are. That's a lot of rotations again. Okay, that's actually... Okay, okay. This could be good. This could be very good. I think what's going to be important is getting a second... A third floor, I mean, up there. And maybe having like a... I was thinking maybe a garden terrace. Or I don't know how you say it properly, but that's starting to look good. And I did a little outcropping here, which I think looks nice and realistic. 
So it's all about changing the shape of the hospital as we go up. But the next floor should be almost an exact copy of this one, I think. Uh, and then a slight change to this glass top area. And then this is going to be our cafeteria. That's going to look awesome. Now, hallway-wise, could I put... Let's see, if I go back into general surgery, the thing I'm missing is a... Uh, a lounge, I think. But what about the... It's called a common room, I believe. A common room. So wait, do these guys now? Yeah, okay, there it is. I, uh, okay, okay. So if I put that here, 5x8, 7x8, 8x7, we could do something like this and then have more corridor coming down here, on, like so. Okay. Which means I could also have a larger... Okay, well, if you're going to be like that, then I'll do this. Okay. So we need this common room here like so all right and now we should wall that off just so i get an idea of, of what i'm building here and then i remove these walls here now here's kind of what i'm thinking we could do why does that corridor look so big no it's that's the correct that's my usual corridor that's fine here's what i'm thinking we could do if this is the cafeteria, what if this space, hear me out, folks, is a big old pharmacy right near the cafeteria? Does that make sense? Big old pharmacy, like right here. Now, how do you, how what's your corridor situation like? So we got one, two, three, four by four. This comes down like like that. Oh, that's a five, so that's a little bit much for a corridor. So let's go. Let's make this pharmacy a little bigger. <laughs> so that the corridor is ooh, is four. Good. Now this corridor is from the general surgery department. And is that four? Yes, perfect. Okay, so this is giving us a sense of some other rooms that we can have here. All right, so if I do that and wall this space off, hopefully that's going to be enough for a big old... There, like this. There we go. So hopefully that's enough to get to a nice big cafeteria with the buffet sort of area here and tables all around the glass. I think that looks pretty good. We could put some doors in here. And this should be a wide open, like a very inviting looking pharmacy, I think. That also might be like way too big of a pharmacy. So then this central hall comes down to this. It's not as open concept as I was maybe hoping it would be, but that's okay. And then in here, I think maybe some admin offices would be good. Just because this space is a little too small to build anything else. And then it's a matter of getting our elevator in and going up to the third floor. And letting this hospital really fly. A patient is collapsing again. This is bad news. But it looks like our team is on it. And now, hopefully, as you can see here, the trauma department is moving fairly fast. Oh my goodness, I bet it's lupus. Let's take a look here. We've got another person that just came in on the uh, on the hospital truck. And we have Frank Young, who's about to get looked at. Somebody. Somebody's going to look at Frank Young. Anybody. Any second now. Okay, good. Okay, we've got... Richard Wright looking at Frank Young. More like... Uh, more like Frank Old, am I right? <laughs> I don't know. How old is he? He's 21, actually. That's true. He's, he's more like Frank Teen. Um, I mean, I guess teen is te 21 is not a teenager anymore. Okay, we have one hidden symptom. We do Chlorine gas poisoning. Oh, my goodness. If that's the case, we're not going to be able to help oxygenotherapy. Bronchodilators or oxygenotherapy. I don't know if we can help with that. Uh... Observation. So we're letting him sit there for a while. Now he's moving, I assume, to... Okay. That's good. Okay, what are we dealing with here, Frank? Frank Teen. <laughs> we still haven't gotten any closer. The hospitalization has got a lot of tests we're going to run on Frank Teen. But now it looks like we can run them late into the... Oh my goodness, look at this hospital. Look at the activity of this hospital. Actually, we should make sure here. We got to go and spend a little bit more money making sure that these... 
Yeah, we don't have any of this staffed at night. Whoops. So let's get some radiology staff going on here. This might be... We're just going to go on a hiring spree, and hopefully this doesn't bite us in the butt. Uh, let's go ahead and get some lab staff. Some night lab staff. Maybe just one. Advanced biochemistry, cardiology. Okay, advanced bio. In here, we want uh, a re-roll, please. Find new candidates. Neurology, biochemistry, I guess. Okay, well, that's fine. We, uh, we can move them to neurology eventually or something. And what do we need here? We need... Like, what do you have? Advanced biochemistry. That's all we need. Okay, let's get you at night. There we go. So now we're going to keep our tests running all night, which is, I think, important now that we have all-night clinics. Another customer, uh, injury customer comes in. And as you can see, I think this is working really well. Look how fast people are coming in and out of trauma because there's room. Oh my goodness, what happened to this person? Penetrated spleen rupture, my goodness. And a patient is collapsing. Okay, not ideal, but they're going to go straight to the ICU. So the only three, this is the only issue now. I want these three uh, to get out of here uh, to make sure that we can still... Uh, Okay, uh, I'm going to have to work on this angio Grammy situation. I want to make sure that these three are still going through and clearing to the next level. So what do they need here? Uh, trauma center hospitalization. Treat 70 patients per day? All right. Oh, no. So that means we're just bringing in more patients, though. That's the thing. If you treat 70 patients per day, now we're going to get even more ambulance patients. So I'm starting to think that this trauma unit is actually too small. Uh, because they're moving way too slow to get them out of here. Trauma center hospitalization. An employee got drunk. Ooh, a bunch of money. I love it. It looks like we have enough room in this ward. And if they go to the ICU, there's plenty of room. And there's lots of room in general surgery. Uh, so why aren't these folks moving? There we go. See, that's what, oh, okay. Never mind. That's what I'm talking about. They are getting dealt with. Maybe it was like a, a nurse availability situation. But that was something, and I'm glad we dealt with it this episode. That was something that was causing me a lot of problems, is uh, getting these patients out of this trauma room. The trauma room was basically just holding on to patients for weeks. Susan Martin is not doing great, but now Susan Martin's out, and we have a totally empty and ready for more uh, injury customers trauma center. See, look at that. Look at that response time at Our Lady of Solids. Okay, we need to keep working on our response time. I think we need more doctors, and we need to move and have a state-of-the-art. I think the third floor should be our state-of-the-art um, diagnostics wing. And then we could also have, maybe this could be cardiology and this could all be radiology and labs. That could be amazing. So there's a lot of plans and there's a lot of stuff left to do here in Our Lady of Solids. But as you can see, uh, things are starting to get a little better. Um, this is filling up fast, so that's going to be something to keep an eye on. Maybe we could expand a little bit this way and get a, sneak in another bed, you know? There's a lot of options here and a lot of ways that we can improve and save lives. The next episode, however, is going to be all about food, pharmacy, and admin. We're going to get this whole area done in real nice. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope this was truly some solid content for you. And I will see you all in the next episode of solid content saves the world. Yeah, that looks good. That's going to be great.